Hello. It's Saturday, January 23rd, 2021. Okay, and we're out looking for alternative methods of transportation. Uh, huge, huge construction site going on here. Uh, let's say you're you're out walking. Actually, you got an appointment. You got to be somewhere. You're running a little behind schedule. You want to make it on time. It's maybe a couple or three kilometers away. Maybe a little further. Or maybe a little closer. Uh, you might say to me. Well, Wu Zhao, how can I get to the station on time? Okay, we're going to explore that in this video. Um, good, inexpensive, well, maybe not, maybe good is a bit, a bit of an exaggeration. Um, handy, maybe a better word. Um, uh, it's a way, <laughs> it's a way to get to where you're going. And uh, it's not going to cost you a lot. You can get, if you had, let's say, you know, three, three kilometers, four kilometers still left uh, to get to your appointment, uh, you can uh, take maybe 20 to 30 minutes. You can take 20 to 30 minutes maybe to do that. And this option will immensely speed that up for you. So if a taxi is a chuju chair. I wonder if they're chuju zishing chairs. I've never heard anybody actually say a name for them. But that's basically what they are. They're bicycle taxis, e-bike taxis. Uh, I'm not uh, I'm not all that comfortable being on the back of anybody's bike. So I can't say I do it that often. Normally I would just walk. So, different people might have different reasons for using this option. Uh, maybe you don't really know how to get to where you're going. Maybe you're lost. Maybe you're late for dinner. Uh, you know, or maybe, uh, what else could it be? Just lazy? Or you're tired, or you're carrying something. It's a little heavy, you don't feel like carrying it a couple of kilometers. That's another good potential reason to use this option. Um, or maybe this is a little bit of an odd one. This is me tonight. I've, uh, I'm maybe two kilometers from where I'm going. And I've already got my steps in for the day. On my Garmin. Uh, it's about 10,000 steps, if anybody's wondering. But that gets adjusted every day. It's, um, if you walk too far with your Garmin, it's going to bump you up farther. Like, it, it adjusts it every day. If you make your, if you make your goal, uh, the next day is going to be a little more. But if you come really close to it, then it only bumps it up, I don't know, what, 50 steps or 200 steps a day. If you go way over, then it'll also uh, increase the amount that it, uh, steps up the required steps for the day so uh, i got my steps for today uh so i'll be looking for a uh an e-bike taxi here coming up shortly i don't want to walk too much farther and i'll hop on one and we'll uh see what that's like so it goes without saying that uh there's a whole range of drivers there's a whole range of uh bikes and uh, there's different prices perhaps typically the price is negotiated in advance um, it's not you can if you negotiate you think it's too high you can go just go to the next bike if there's a uh, a few of them around that's uh, not something that's uh, frowned upon although the one driver might frown upon it but it's not it's it's something that's uh, typically normal try to get the best price uh, here's a bunch of here. This guy's all waiting. Uh, but yeah, try to evaluate. Try to pick a good driver. Try to 
pick a reliable bike or one with a comfortable seat or maybe enough space for your luggage. So when I hop on, I'm going to attempt to uh, keep the video rolling. So I got some cash in my pocket, um, which is not that easy to do these days. And I suppose it'll get more difficult as days go on. Uh, go into the store, buy something, pay with cash and get some change. But uh, you might find some stores have no change or they give you all fives or all ones. Or uh, There's not a lot of cash floating around anymore. So... Um, typically I would pay with my phone for everything actually I don't carry cash anymore like, except for an exception like today or the other day when I went on the subway I wanted to uh, keep the video rolling so I just brought some cash along bought that, bought that coin for the subway um, but today I've also brought some cash along um, so I can take one of these scary, <laughs> scary rides on an on a, uh, e-bike taxi see we can pick a guy and get a price uh, so I got my mask on again I'm gonna be sitting behind one of these guys and uh, sorry if it sounds a little muffled uh, what's he want to uh, swung long Walmart Walmart okay swung long just take a Walmart okay 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 Oh, don't you say, don't you say. Okay, okay. 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 We're on, we're rolling. See you. We're rolling. And one thing you don't want to do when you get on one of these things, you don't want to uh, put your feet down. You got to let him do all the, do all the work. Okay. It's kind of open. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, I put my foot down by accident. Got stuck on the footrest. Rolling through heavy traffic here. Now, like I said, I'm only a couple of kilometers away. So, uh, see how fast we can get there. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> If you don't do this often, it's uh, easy to forget not to put your feet down. <laughs> I just did it again at the stoplight here. Okay. And one one amazing thing that you'll notice that uh, often uh, you'll see girls riding on the backs of these things, side saddle, playing with their phone and not paying much attention. So they're obviously uh, very comfortable with it. So, okay, he's taking a, a route here that's a little safer. I kind of appreciate that. I don't want to use the uh, reverse camera on my phone because uh, I need to change my. Uh, I got one of those uh, covers on the, on the screen, and I haven't changed it for a long time. So when I change it to that that camera, it's really blurry. Yeah. So if you want to take one of these, it's best if you know a couple of words at least. Um, you don't have to negotiate the price, and they're usually pretty fair, and they're not going to rip you off too badly. Um, but you should know either the words of where you're going or uh, you should know the words of something near your area that you want to go to. Um, and then you can tell them that and like I said 
earlier, maybe you're someone that's lost or um, don't know how to get to where you're going. They don't know where it is. You do have to be careful with something like saying oh, Walmart because uh, there's a lot of Walmarts around. So you might have to specify the area of the town. So uh, I think you're the right one. Yeah, it's a little shaky back here, but it's probably a little overweight right now. I need to get back to running. Doing the steps every day is just not enough. I used to run every day until uh, sometime during the virus being stuck in being stuck in the apartment. Um, didn't get a chance to run a lot. It's I haven't got back to picking it back up, although obviously um, it's something you can do. I usually run early in the morning, so there'd be no traffic, no people, or hardly any. Okay, this guy's getting me there. There's another bike taxi right in front of us. This guy's, a little, this guy's a little shaky. Trying to get a, another shot of me being scared on the back of an e-bike. <laughs> okay, I did put my wrist strap on my gimbal, although my phone can pop out of there, I suppose. real quick up on one of these they're not as heavy as me and, uh, I think the ride would be a lot more I think the ride would be smoother it wasn't so heavy or maybe a better driver I don't know Okay. Shish, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Now, this is the contraption that I came here on. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. See, he didn't want to take cash because I don't think he has the change. It was Leo Kwai, 6 RMB, which is uh, about a dollar. Or under a US dollar. I think the US dollar right now is about seven. That ride was six. Uh, I gave him a tip to ten, so big spender. I gave him a dollar and a quarter. <laughs> but they don't normally get tips. But uh, since I'm paying cash, I didn't have the right change either, so what the heck. Shoot him a couple extra quiet there. Uh, so if you want to find one, you're probably better off sticking to roads that uh, have buses on them. They're obviously the more well-traveled roads. I'm in the bike path here. Um, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be cruising around areas that uh, there's people. That's how they're making their money. Although it's not much money, I think, and uh, it's probably a lot of time for a little bit of money, in my opinion. But there's certainly a lot of people doing it. <clears throat> Yeah, look for a road that has some buses. Maybe not, not as many. You don't need as many buses as this road has. But a road that has bus lines running on it. Obviously, it's a, a more main road, more well-traveled. So you'll find those uh, e-bike taxis running back and forth along there. And like I say, you just look for someone that's uh, honking their horn uh, for no apparent reason. And uh, especially if they have a big back seat, it's definitely one of them. Yeah, I'm not seeing any of them this little walk here. 
hoping to show you um, hoping to show you an example of them needlessly <laughs> needlessly blowing their horn it's needlessly from uh, you know an outsider's opinion but uh, it's needed because they they're letting you know they're there in case you're looking for a ride even sometimes it seems pretty obvious you're not does still honk especially uh, late at night 